Nobody knows this river better than I do, apart from the fish, or the larch. And when I say fish, I mean a particular salmon. Mythical, some say, but not me, because I have seen him, or at least I've caught the ripple of his tail as he makes a sudden move while my eyes are dazzled by the sun. And I've seen the larch bend over the water on a windless day. The thing that most people don't know about fish is that their true element is the sky. You probably think an ideal picture of fishing is someone in waders in the river on a bright clear day, but no, all that light spells danger to a fish. He'll be hiding in the shade, waiting for the moment when the sun starts shimmering on the water, creating a distraction to the human eye, and that, that is when your fish will shoot off up the river out of reach. And the larch whispers something you fail to catch. Until one day, as you step through the forest of trees, matching your breath to their sway, so that you might go unremarked, edging toward the river bank, where the larch drops its weeping branches ever lower, that salmon will not be outsmarted by an obvious foe. But a friend of the larch might lie outstretched and gaze through the shadow, might see a glimmer of the fish as it steadies itself against the current, might feel for a fleeting moment its craving to be carried along, to be part of something greater. And in that instant, be caught by a practised hand and plucked, writhing, unbelieving, gasping, out of its way on the end of a line. But even as you conjure the heady flash of inevitable fame, it is, after all, a mythical creature. You hear once more the whisper of the larch, and the river, and the salmon, and you are reversed by their song as they call out your name.